You know, I would have been there if I could have. I was there in spirit. We're taking a look at what happened here at Young Dundas Square yesterday, uh, unloading the trees that you are buying today for daily bread and for your Christmas. And thank goodness the firefighters were there because it takes about four firefighters to do what I could have done, but no, I'm not going to say it. Dan Vieira is with the uh, Toronto Firefighters, uh, we're going to say the Professional Firefighters Association and with Toronto Fire Proper, uh, and we want to thank you guys. Every year you come and support us and support Daily Bread. You're very welcome. It's our sixth year, and we're, we're happy to be here to help out. And every year we talk about tree safety, and people think, okay, I know, I know, but still, you guys respond to call after call with people having problems. So I want to emphasize, real trees are the way to go, and they are safe, but you have to work at it. That's true. Real trees are beautiful. Obviously, we're selling real trees right now, donating uh, all proceeds to the Daily Bread Food Bank. But in terms of safety, we want to let the viewers know that you got to keep watering these things. They have to water them regularly. It's really important that you do that to prevent them from catching fire, from getting dry. And and so. You a lot of times, too, people put decorations around the tree, and they can't get to the water reservoir. So you got to be able to be able to see it, and to be able to fill it easily. That's correct. Uh, we we recommend watering them daily. So, if, just like your plants, make sure you're putting some water in there. That'll keep it nice and green longer, and it'll make sure that they, it doesn't catch fire. Now, these look pretty safe to me, but what am I looking for? To, because you, you don't you don't want anything that that has any exposed wires. That, yeah, correct. We want you want CSA approved lighting. Obviously, you don't want to overload, so you don't want ten uh, you know ten different plugs going into one outlet. So I have a thousand lights on my tree. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that as long as you're doing it safely. Again, uh, you know we we recommend using proper lighting that's that's CSA approved and making sure that you don't overload your electrical circuits. You get a lot of calls as well, cooking related. Yes, uh, you know this time of the year people are getting together celebrating. Uh, hopefully responsibly, but uh, if you're going to cook and if you're going to be with friends and family, make sure that you're attentive to the, your cooking and you know keep an eye on it. And so what are some of the things you when you when you get to a call? What are some of the if you could get one thing through to people about the cooking problems? Well, just uh, be attentive. You know, don't don't just forget about it. You know, while you're enjoying yourself and dealing with your hosts uh, or with your guests, you know, make sure that that's being attended to and make sure that you're checking your smoke alarms. Most importantly, make sure you have a working smoke alarm in your home at all times. Check it monthly. All right. And for the next 10 minutes only, anybody who gets a tree, sir, you got a tree? Yeah. All right, come forward. There's a special deal for the next 10 minutes only. You get to bring home a firefighter. Oh. All right, great. All right. I can't choose. I can't choose. Well, then I'm going to give you Dan. Dan, you go with this gentleman. See how good we are? We'll be right back with more breakfast television after this. Stay with us. Thank you. Thank you.